do it in English, so okay with everybody. Um, and again, switch to French. Um, I'd like to thank uh, everybody to be here at the table. We have Andy Bean, uh, the director uh, of Montreal City of Golf. Mark, Mr. Mario Nebo representing Beachcomber. Kevin Barker, director of golf development from the RNA. And Guillaume Brick from Swan. And Mr. Luc Mortimer, the Secretary General of the Africa Golf Confederation. Thanks all to be here. We also have in attendance uh, the Mauritian team. Three of them, there's Florent Toulet, Marquez Chano, Pierre Pelgra. Ludovic Pax is that he is arriving uh, tomorrow morning. He has an exam to pass today. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's normally quite difficult for him, but anyway, he will try. <laughs> but, um, and the team will be led by the captain, uh, well known in Mauritius, Mr. Vishnu Sinivasan, uh, one of our leading pro in Mauritius. So thanks to be here, thanks to our sponsors. Uh, our three main sponsors, as you will see, is uh, Swan, Beachcomber, and Montois in the park. We also have our sponsor, Elios, uh, Beyond Communication, CNOE, Chantier Naval, Le Soin Indien. MTPA and Pazana. I didn't forget anybody. Um, so, but, yeah, um, on behalf of the uh, Motion Square Federation, we are very happy to host uh, for the first time the All Africa Team Championship. We hosted the junior event in 2013. One of the most prestigious amateur event in the world, in, 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 in the continent of Africa. At this tournament, it has been won by some great players, who are now big pros, I think. I think Chris has recently won it. Uh, Schwarzer. Schwarzer, uh, Charles Schwarzer. There are some big names who are now great golf players who want to play that event. Um, most recently, we have pros on the tour now, like uh, uh, George. George Putzi and Grace. Grace. Uh, what? Brandon Grace. Brandon Grace, all those guys played this event. This is a great event. We played on 54 holes uh, stroke play. We played 18 holes on Thursday, uh, 36 on Friday, 18 on uh, Saturday. We have an opening ceremony tomorrow uh, at 4 o'clock. Uh, but to say also, we'd like to thank again the support of the RNA, uh, who is the main uh, contributor to this event for many years now, and who is supporting golf development throughout Africa and throughout the world. Uh, and without whom we would not be probably here, all of us, or reuniting all those countries from Africa. Uh, we have 14 countries participating and four players per country. I will pass the word to Kevin uh, to say a few words about the RNA, about the support of the RNA to, to golf in general. Um, you'll need to forgive me, I'm Scottish, so I don't speak English, never mind French. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm just off a plane, so um, 24 hours ago I was in St Andrews walking my dog along the beach, and the temperature was slightly different to what it is here. I had three layers of clothing on, a hat, a scarf, and gloves. So it's, it's great to be here, as far as I'm concerned, lovely weather, and it's my first time in Mauritius, and, and I'm delighted to be here on behalf of the RNA. Um, for those of you that don't know, the RNA is one of the governing authorities of golf, along with the United States Golf Association, the USGA, and our principal income is derived from the Open Championship. And we have the 150th Open Championship coming up in 2021, it's Andrews, which you're all invited to, please come. And that really drives all our external activities. So we run our own amateur championships. We have 28 championships that we run. And we put money into golf development. We have our rules governance duties. We have our equipment standards duties. We are involved in amateur status. 
the world's handicapping system and various other things. So the open is really important for us in terms of our income generation. And what we get from the open, we put back into golf. We have no shareholders, the money goes back into golf. And um, that, this is an example of one of the championships which we are delighted to support. And um, I'm sure people would like us to support it a wee bit more, but we have 157 affiliates, we call them, around the world, um, each with their own requests from us, whether it's in terms of championships or grassroots participation or growing the number of women and girls playing golf or facilities, etc. So there are a lot of calls on our funds and um, but as I say we're delighted to support this event which as Christoph says is the kind of pinnacle of amateur golf in Africa and um, we would definitely like to see some more Africans playing in the Open Championship and more African women playing it in our Women's British Open and um, the, the Open's had a, a long history certainly in terms of South Africans participating in it and winning it we've got a fairly good record there of South Africans but Let's see if we can get some other Africans playing in the Open Championship and hopefully one of you guys or maybe all of you will be playing in the Open Championship at some point in time. That would be great for you, be great for golf and Mauritius and great for the Open Championship because we want golf to grow and to develop. So you guys play well this week and who knows, maybe you'll find your way to the Open Championship. So I would just like to say um, I wish the Championship all the best this week. I'm here to answer any questions through the championship until Friday night at least. And if there's anything I can do or any questions that I can answer about what we do, um, I would be delighted to answer those questions. Thank you, Kevin. Um, let me pass the word to you so if you were um, the Confederation of the Championship in general. How, how yeah, I, I thought. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, no. But you know, gave me more time than I knew Christophe would have been able to say that. On behalf of the AGC, we want to welcome all the teams. It's fantastic when a country actually volunteers to sponsor the AGC tournament, the annual full Africa tournament. Last year we were in Zimbabwe, next year we're going to be in Egypt. So we try and spread it all over Africa as much as we can. And normally they're fantastic events, as, 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 as we said. that. Uh, Golfers such as Brandon Grace and Ernie Hills have all been part of this tournament at some stage. And they've grown to become world champions professionally. So we never know. As Kevin said, we wish all the players the best of that. One of you is an American. Are you an American? No, I thought you were. I thought you were a guest professional coming to play for the Mauritius. Anyway, on behalf of the AGC, on behalf of uh, our President, Joe, President uh, Ambassador Joe Malendi, who is unfortunately not here yet, apparently he is coming, his able acting deputy, Al Johnson, then, is representative at this stage. So if you have any problems with the AGC, speak to Johnson, don't speak to me. <laughs> but we wish Christoph and his team many thanks for sponsoring or hosting this event. We look forward to a fantastic week. Um, let me pass the word to Mario, who is hosting us uh, in this wonderful resort in Beach Number. Yeah. about Beach Number? I think everybody here knows uh, already what Beach Number is. Uh, we have nine hotels in Mauritius with some great five star products. And it's only recently, last year, that we have actually signed a a contract, a preferred partner contract with Montreuxy to try and attract some golfers in the north with, uh, of course, uh, Andy and his team. So we have actually today two golf hotels which we have five minutes away from Montreuxy and that's when uh, Christophe mentioned about this tournament. Uh, it was, of course, uh, very quickly decided to try and uh, get all of you and all the delegations to, to one of our hotels as quickly as possible because you'll get there five minutes in five minutes. <coughs> Tomorrow you'll be straight on the golf course. So that's one thing that uh, is important for us to try and create an awareness that golf 
can be played in the north at Montchoisy, and if you are trying to play some golf in the north, you need to stay in one of our beachcomber hotels. So this is one of the messages we, we, we like to pass to everybody. The second thing is that Beachcomber is a very much a, a sports orientated uh, company. We had some great sportsmen who had represented Mauritius in most of our hotels, even our CEO at the time, and, and today our CEO also would like to put sport in the forefront of uh, Mauritius as a destination and Mauritius as a golf destination and Mauritius as a sports destination and events. So we're very glad. We hosted the uh, for Afri uh, African Triathlon also this year. I think we have done uh, on different sports, trail, mountain biking, and golf is of course one of our our preferred events, if you would like to call it that way. So uh, we're happy to be here with uh, the Mauritius Golf Federation and all the, the people that are working towards this event. Uh, Andy mentioned to us that it. You're going to have some great, great golfers uh, playing this course, and we, uh, we are happy to be here and to participate with you guys. Thank you, Maria. Uh, fast forward to, to Swan, uh, to be thanks, here. Thanks, Christophe. So on behalf of Swan, um, I would like to extend our thanks to the organizers uh, for allowing us to be part of this incredible event. Um, for Swan, it's a real privilege uh, to team up with you guys for the All Africa Team Championship to be hosted locally in Mauritius. Uh, as a keen supporter of sports in our country, it was with great pleasure that we accepted to be one of the gold sponsors for this very important event. Our commitment at Swan towards sports, uh, be it cycling, tennis, trail, or golf, has always been driven by our values. At Swan, we indeed believe in people passion and performance, and all these three values are at the heart of our strategy. Uh, driven by our commitment, we are partnering with the Mauritius Golf Federation with the view of giving the passionate Mauritian golfers all the support they might need and help them improve their skills through you know, such high-level competitions. Um, I once again thank you the organizers and all the stakeholders for their great work. At Swan, we are really looking forward to be with you to enjoy the game and share a friendly moment together. May I end by wishing good luck to all the <coughs> participants uh, and I wish all the best to the golfers taking part in this tournament. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, pass on now to the post course uh, to Andy to give us some inside info going to happen uh, and it's for this course in the coming days. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but uh, uh, on behalf of Conscious Hero Golf, we, we thank you, uh, the Mauritius Golf Federation and the sponsors and the RNA. It's, it's a huge privilege for us to host such a, uh, an event. Uh, I think when you, the golf course is relatively new, as most of you know. We've only been open, in fact, not even two years yet. And I, I know the, the golf course designer, when he designed it, he, he purposely built a course that he wanted it to be fun and playable, but also be available for a championship of this stature. We, we, we think, humbly put from the feedback we've had, that it is fun and playable off the front tees and with the greens running a bit slower. We look forward to how you guys play this week, because it will be the first time we can test what the the future superstars are, are going to do to our golf course. So we'll, we'll watch with interest because we, we think we've got a, a golf course that's a little bit unique in a way. I guess we've, we, we've got a lot of risk and reward holes out there and for a stroke play tournament it's, it's going to require a, a lot of thought from, from all the players. No doubt the Mauritius breeze will come and tempt you guys for a, a, a couple of, of the holes out there. But uh, I guess when, when we look at our golf course, we, we think we offer a little bit of a taste of Mauritius. You, you'll, you'll have your time out there as a competitor to look at the mountains, see the islands, a little bit of the sea. It's, uh, we've got a bit of our heritage there and the natural vegetation. And then, of course, lastly, but definitely not least, uh, our preferred partner in terms of beachcomber, 
the Canadair, in this case this week. We, we have an amazing relationship which makes it so easy for people to move between the hotels and enjoy a world-class facility as well as what we hope is a world-class golf course and clubhouse. So thank you very much for the opportunity to the participants. We, we will watch with a keen eye and we wish you all the best. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andy. Uh, as Andy was saying, I think all the ingredients are, are set. The, the, the hotel, the course, everything is set up to have a great week of golf. Um, so on behalf of LGF, and uh, we'd like to wish the best to all the teams present, the team wishes. Also, I'd like to thank all my committee, the, the organizing committee, uh, for putting all up for this tournament for this week. Thanks again to the sponsors, to the RNA, and uh, to the AGC. Uh, so, may the best win, I would say. And good luck to the motion team. <laughs> Not too much pressure. We didn't do the only ones here. And uh, so, you're invited to, to have a few questions. So How many teams? Well, from, we, from which country we are uh, talking a lot about motion team, uh, who are coming from, from Africa? So from uh, the best uh, favorite of South Africa, they've been winning it from the nine, uh, nine parts edition. And it was Uganda, what are the... Uganda, Mauritius, Namibia, Namibia, Kenya, Seychelles is here, Radio Island is here. Zimbabwe is up there. You will have a list, I will send you the Bob Mauro, Tunisia. There are big names coming in. Names are from South Africa. The, uh, what's his name? Just won the US Amateur uh, one month ago. That's it. The, the world champion was a junior, Sam Simpson, who won here last year. He didn't have his place in the team to tell you the, what's the level of the team. Um, but we'll be there to try to challenge them uh, to the best we can. So there are some great, great players. Um, I great young players? Young players, yeah. All South African team, all juniors. No? All the well, there, there might be a bit of that. Like, uh, juniors last year. Yeah. So, there's a lot of juniors. A lot of juniors. I mean, I would say the mid age would be 20. But average age. Average yeah, 20. There's up to older than So you. What are the particularities of uh, Montreal's golf? There is an easy hole and a difficult hole. So are there some particularities concerning this golf course? So uh, there's. So the. the the interesting thing is the golf course could be made very tough. You know, we, it, it's been designed to be very playable of the tee, so the players that are going to play it this week will play it like our members with the grass cut really short from side to side, so almost 80 meters of playing, of landing areas for the players, which is going to give the appearance of a, a golf course that plays pretty easy. The defense of the golf course is the green, so the, the greens are, are quite small and, and very slopey. The, the average golfer that's played there in the last two years won't have played them in tournament conditions. So the speed of the greens are normally, we, we have a thing called a stim meter which measures the pace. And it's normally eight and a half, nine feet. Whereas in this case this week, we hope to get somewhere around 11 or so. Uh, so it's going to make it rather hard. And then Peter Maxwich loves risk reward holes and he loves tough holes and he loves easy holes. So he, he throws a big mix in. There, there's some of the, Par fives are going to be are long and hard to play, and others you, you're left with a, a tee shot or a second shot where you've got to make a decision do I lay up and play it conservatively, or do I go for broke and see if I can't make a, a birdie in an easy way? And he's done this similar with the par fours. There's two short par fours which will be set up at least once or twice during the week to tempt these guys to go for it in one shot. I guess from an appearance point of view, it's, it's ironically a bit link style. Uh, so, you, you know, it, it wouldn't project an atypical Mauritius golf course in terms of the vegetation. It's very much grassland. Um, the condition of the course, though, is something we're really proud of. So we work really hard to create almost 
what we like to say is on Augusta feel in terms of the playing surfaces, and that's what we've we've hopefully achieved for the players this week. Question from David. Yeah. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think we're close. I mean, uh, I was there this morning. Uh, congratulations to your team. Uh, it looks great. Uh, I know you had a bit of stressful past month with a uh, water issue. You came back uh, quite well. Do you want to have one to one questions or why do you have invited to have some coffee and tea? Thanks again for being here. And, uh, I invite you all to come and see the see some good girls.